Hey, so, hi everybody, and back on again, and time for some more pinball. Uh, well, uh, pretty rough and hectic work week. Um, uh, I mean, Wednesday that I can recall went pretty honky dory, so nothing to write home about there. Thursday was a fucking shit show. Oh my god, it just. It, I mean, Murphy's log really came into play. Uh, Murphy decided to come and stay, so yeah, it just, you know. People that unloaded our freight did a, you know, did a horrible job of it. We had, a, we're having to do extra work, basically doing a sliding puzzle to try to get to our stuff and you know get the other departments out of the way. Again, a really, really bad job. So a lot of extra work on our part. Um, just we we got a new person. Um, he kept uh, he kept disappearing a lot. I even had a manager come up and tell me, well, you guys were ba basically telling me what I wanted to. Well, you guys are on your own, because the other guy, we don't know. Like, he just up and disappeared for for a long period of time. I thought he walked, we thought he walked out, like, just walked out of the job. At some point later on, like, towards the end of our shift, poof, he just magically appears. You know, comes on back and, you know, does whatever. You know, so nice of you to work us into your schedule, buddy. You know, that kind of thing. So... So then we got him. Um, Friday was actually was I kind of take that back. Friday was the day after. Fr Friday was actually a good day, um, which I really needed because, like I said, Thursday sucked. So, uh, not to mention it's it's becoming an a it's becoming an encroaching problem. Um, I mean, tis the season for free overtime, so. Most of what actually, all right, hey. Personally, I think it sucks, cause now you got people coming in like way earlier than their, you know, than their off, than their intended, you know, their intended scheduled shift. I'm trying to find the right words, but you know, coming in way earlier than they should be. You know, I, I kind of see if I can explain this. I mean, I kind of had this in my head earlier. Kind of a way that um, people in the freight industry, dock workers, warehouse people, those kind of, they actually hate it when their shipments arrive earlier than scheduled. Because they may be working on their current, you know, processing their current freight load, you know, and they're almost finished, but now all of a sudden, <sighs> the next shipment comes by, like, earlier. Now, in... You know, I guess at least, you know, theoretically, they have to unload that. Now they have today's shipment, you know, you know, you know, a lot on top of their previous stuff. So now they have even more they have to deal with, you know, but, you know, maybe if that, maybe if the truck driver would have waited, you know, a little longer, wait a little longer till the, till they're done processing the previous shipment, get, you know, get their, get their docks, get their piers and all, you know, get their warehouses and whatnot all nice and set up, set up and everything for today's shipment. But no, the asshole decided to call me in earlier. Gotta load me. You know, that kind of thing. Well, you know, I'm kind of the same way too when it comes to, when it comes to personnel. I, I don't like it when people come in like super, especially super early. I mean, you know, 10, 15 minutes earlier or something like that, that's fine. But when they're coming in like, Two plus hours earlier than the schedule, and it, it, it's really gonna it it can really create a problem for us because now they're in our way. Actually, now that I think about it, for for the longest time that's what we had. We had a guy that came in um almost like right smack in the middle of our shift. It, but based the way uh, the way my job works, a lot of the stuff that we have is shared. Um. A lot, a lot of our equipment is shared throughout for between all three shifts. That's what I was trying to say. You know, our our storeroom, you know, our stock room, our back room, our freezers, our coolers, etc. You know, it's not, you know, our, our freezer. It's not, it's not just the frozen food department that has that freezer. Other departments have, you have to share space with. I mean, three other departments. So when you have a, so when you have somebody, 
and then there's the uh, OG online grocery pickup. Um, for those who don't know, you can you can uh, go online, order your groceries, and then the the online grocery pickup people they'll they'll run around the store and they'll they'll pick what you ordered, and then you it's like it's like a drive-through. You know, you pull your car up to the side and they'll they'll put the groceries in your car. Well, we have to share space with those guys. So, and we have a we have a guy that shows up like, we, like almost, I think like two, sometimes even three hours earlier than the normal normal default schedule when everyone's supposed to show up. So he's back there in our way. We're interfering with each other. You know, so like like I said, I. Fucking hate it when they do this. On one end, over extra overtime might be nice. It's rare, but at the other, on the other hand, you're fucking over the people that were actually scheduled to be there to begin with. So it just it just creates a real problem. It just it creates a real problem. So, but yeah, like I said, the holidays, it's they're. I think they're allowing overtime. You can come in early. You can stay late. You can even come in on your days off. Um, that's that's also a problem. We had a we had a lady. I I mean, you know, she's normally the first Wednesday and Thursday. She's not there. She's she's off. So it's it's not near. It's not that not that bad. Well. She's overachieving, coming out of her days off. Now we got... So now it's really creating a lot more chaos. It, you kind of get the idea, but... Yeah, I just kind of went off on a rant about that. It, so... Uh, but... Otherwise, I can't... can't really think of anything else. Um, so... For the session... Just... Doing the usual, uh, FX3. Um... Probably won't be doing any matchups. I'll have to get in and look. As long as I'm not in the red, we're a okay. Uh, doing tourneys, uh, doing randos. But uh, like I've been doing, my goal these days is to try to play play all all three platforms: FX3, Arcade, and Zachariah. I'm trying to do all three of them. So, um, randos. Do, usually, I do the uh, random tables on FX3. Uh, it's that's been the one that's been cut, getting cut short. Just so I can go on and you know play the other two platforms. So, um, uh, okay, and then um, and then like usual, I eat and drink when streaming. So it's having a hard-boiled egg. Uh, the black shit that you're seeing is uh pepper. I put uh, salt and pepper on it, and then got some red grapes this time. So they actually had some. Oh, and uh, water. So yeah. That's all I drink. Water and skim milk. Okay, let me... Okay, I gotta... I gotta kill a few windows first. Yeah, I gotta have some room to work with. Okay, and uh, I gotta get my fan on the floor. Oh, and I dropped it on the cord. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem too. At the moment, I'm playing. I'm uh, I'm playing with a wired controller, but. If I'm going to get too many uh, disconnect problems, I'm going to have to play wirelessly and deal with input lag. Okay, we're good. Okay, so...
And then, because I fucked this up last week, I gotta find it. I'm back to doing this. I gotta set reminders for myself. Cause I forgot to do this last, uh, last, uh, Tuesday, I think. So. Yeah. I would say uh, 14 billion in five minutes would be uh, pretty much, I'd probably call it bullshit on, but then again, all the scores are pretty close on this. So, they must know something I don't. Yeah, I kind of suck balls in this. Tenth. It's probably going to be a lot, it's probably going to take a while too, because I hadn't played in three days, so... A lot of turnings to go through. Yeah, I'd kind of like to see a replay video on a uh, number one, 3.4 billion. Which, now that I think about it, there is a. Uh, Steam came out with a new uh, record feature. You can uh, record your replays and stuff. FX3 sure needs it. One point seven billion. Steam's got a replay feature. Sure would love to see it. the same guy 2.5 billion I think it's another one it's like every tournament he enters he's always first place and he always crushes the competition like there ain't no close races or anything but otherwise not too bad here Oh, took third. Oh, 85 million on something like this. Or, let me back up. 85 million on a table like this? Yeah, I would kind of like to see a replay on that. More so because, one, he his name is hidden. And then kind of a red flag. And then two, 85 mil versus second place, which is only 24. Yeah. Five point nine billion on one ball. Steam's got a new replay feature, guys. Let's see him. <laughs> hey, hot. Good evening, Joey Schmoey. Ah, that hurt the throat. So real quick, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look something up here. So Steam just came out oh, with the uh, game recording. I don't know if I could uh, post a link up or anything.
Sure could use this here in FX3. Okay, I'm here right now. Yeah, buddy. Clips or didn't happen. Of course, I'd want to see the whole entire video, though. I want to see the whole table run. Yeah, here it is. There it is. Don't forget to post it up, guys. Videos or it didn't happen. Yep. Because with a score like 5.9 billion on one ball, in fact, let me type something down real quick. I, I know I should be moving I should be moving along here but this this kind of piqued my interest plus it's kind of happened on my very own tournament um I mean, the reason, one of the reasons why I set the tournament to one ball would be to, to curtail this kind of thing, but nope. One of them got through the cracks. You know, the only reason I made uh, one ball and one attempt was, again, to kind of kind of keep these, keep these kind of guys out. I have to type something else down. Sorry. Uh, if I don't do it now, I'll forget to do it later. Get back in there. No, I guess I was the last one. Okay. So, let me go ahead and set the overlay back. Hey, I should remember.
Rise and choose your adventure. I'll get the strongest one there is! Well, there's 10 seconds gone right there. Lost ten seconds. Get back in him. Yeah, shots lit, not gonna hit. Almost 10 seconds and I just I just heard Natasha so that's a shitty mode if it all happens Why are you here? oh so back it in what are you up to so guess that's gonna do it like I said shitty mode 10 seconds so game over Yep. Couldn't make the shot. Well, it took a second. The Hogan crew. Gotta bother on this one. Yeah, believe it or not, when it comes to fishtails, I'm not a fan of the tide modes. They do a bad job about plunging the ball on those. Okay, so copyrighted music. Scroll up. So yeah, I am gonna have some of my own music going in the background. Uh, this is Tang. You know, spelled like 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 the breakfast drink, Tang, T-A-N-G. Um, like big old wide empty nothing or something like that. I gotta look. Big bright empty nothing. 
Just instrumental music. We are playing wirelessly. Don't want to have to deal with this shit. So, yeah. Not even had the wire for about a month, and already I gotta replace it. Possibly the controller as well. Fuck it up. Am I supposed to be shooting? What's a scrapyard? God damn it. Cell phone's trying to shut up on me. to hit something. Ball. 
No. Lock is lit. Super jackpot. Right by me. Curse my slow ass reflexes. Not gonna help much when the ball goes straight down the middle. Another nice day for scavenging. What was that? I swear I saw something fall down. Where can it be? Got to aim for the right lobe. I don't know what it is. You got an extra ball. Okay. You must be around here. Ray, get out of there. Ray, get the fuck out of there. Ray needs to get out of this area here. I gotta be able to see the ball coming. That was input lag a few moments ago.
Just as I have foreseen. What the fuck? Uh oh, retard alert. What the hell? So, ball here is heavier. No. Stop trying to go down the middle. Also, actually, I need to pause this. What are Props to the slingshots on this table. For, props to them for not going off. Not going off when the ball just nearly passes by them, unlike other tables. Like, Jurassic Park comes to mind. That's when they should be going off. When the ball goes right into them. Not just merely passing over them. Yes, during modes and multi-ball, you are going to be hearing some in-game music. But with the way I play, that ain't going to last long. Did great. I would really like to think I beat the tournament. Yes, I did. Kind of need to see a video on this. 7.1 billion. I mean, it's on normal mode, 
but hey, we got to record future now, guys. Okay, uh, copyrighted music on this one too, so... Don't want to light up all the uh, in and out lanes either. You get saddled with a really bad op. Uh, it's not a video mode. We can't hold this by ourselves. Oh my god. Stay close to me. Watch out! I wish I could get in the bumpers. Pretty much seals the deal for me. I know. I'm a failure. Lamp dick. Fault on that one. If you're not flipping the ball, keep the flipper sound, Joe. Then ball 101. Yeah, I gotta turn the music down. It wouldn't be so bad if a lot of the scores on these tournaments are so damn un let me back up. unachievable. You know, if you had a, you know, if you're playing with other players around the same skill level as you, yeah, they, they actually can be pretty enjoyable. Um, I kind of said the same thing about fighting games as well. Something, uh, it's a genre I used to play way back in the day. You know, if you can, you know, if you can get some players, or if you can find some players that are around your skill level, they can actually be pretty fun. But, you know, when you play, when you do, like, uh, like, random matchups and stuff like that, it's, it's like a damn box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Oftentimes, you get a guy that's been playing fighting games for years, Mops the floor with you, you know. Yeah, not very, not much fun. In tournaments, or at least as far as uh, fighting games go, it should ideally be a fucked it up, be a 50-50 chance of, of you all winning. Nice shot. 
kill. I don't love it. Yeah, on Pinball Arcade, Creature is actually a pretty good op table, but not FX3. anything about that yet the only thing I could think of is maybe the day before the day before management talked about that I might have I think I did talk with one of my co-workers about my uh, about my old schedule and then that co-worker decided to go ahead and blab the management about it and then they talked to me it's one of the reasons why I'm so quiet at work one of Things I say to one, people like to gossip. Let me back up. People like to gossip. So, I say something to one guy, it kind of has this ripple effect throughout the entire store because he's going to, during breaks or lunches, he's going to go outside and smoke with his buddies and he's going to basically tell tell them what I told him. So, I got to be careful with what I say. So, I'm that might have been one of the reasons why, but yeah. Creature from the Black Lagoon? Okay. Like I said, um... Actually, now that I think about it, I think, uh, FX3 and, uh, Pinball Arcade are about the same with me. Um, well, actually, I talked about this earlier on my stream. Here, let me get out of this real quick. Okay. Here, let's... Quieter music. Uh, yeah, I talked about this at the start of the stream. Uh, I think they're allowing free overtime during the holidays, which actually makes life a lot harder for me because what's going to end up happening is 
people are gonna start coming in way earlier than scheduled, or they could just start they could just start coming in on their days off. And they're they actually get in my way. Um because at least at my job, um, our space, our equipment, they're all shared. Like we we hardly have any any personal equipment that each of us individuals use. Um, again, most everything else we have is shared amongst the whole store. So when people come in, say two hours earlier, they're fucking us by two hours because now they're getting in our way, or they're they're trying to steal our equipment. You know, equipment that we are in the middle of using. You know, they just pop right on in. You know, show up whenever they feel like it. Hey, I need this cart. Ah, uh, 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 that's ours. Don't like it? Don't come in fucking early. You know. You know you. So yeah, it. I mean it. They basically do it in phases. There's a no overtime phase, which is actually what I like. And then there is the free overtime phase, which is what I don't, because now, again, overachievers are going to start showing up thinking they own the place. And uh, chances are that might have been one of the reasons why, back in the day, when I had that old 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. schedule, that might have been one of the reasons why they took me off of that. Because I would show up, and I'd be the uh, online grocery pickup people. I'd be, the, I'd be in their way, because... My frozen food department and the online grocery pickup department, they're they're right next to each other and at some point we're we're butting heads. You know, they're in my way, I'm in their way, it just creates this clusterfuck. So I have a feeling that's why they knock me back to ten PM to seven AM. On one end, it sucks. You know, I actually like I actually like coming in during the evening when it's actually pretty hectic watching the crowd die down as you know as night falls and then during the early morning hours dead as a doornail and then around 3 or 4 a.m. the crowd starts picking up again I think that's really cool it's almost like watching the sunrise and then eventually watching the sunset it's cool as hell my uh, that my old ship was like that but again I told I also understand I also understand them taking me off of it Because, again, it, we we're just, you know, each other's way. Not to mention, I'm also in the customer's way, too. Because, again, at around 8 p.m., it's still pretty busy. Yeah, it was, it was something I was thinking about at work. It's almost like the, um, the freight industry. I think it's like that, you know, the, the, the warehouses, the train stations that, you know, pick up the, uh, railroad freight, that kind of thing. They actually hate it when, um, when their freight loads arrive earlier than scheduled. But you would, you would think otherwise. Like, hey, all right, yeah, great, you're here already, cool. No, they actually hate it. They want you to show up on time, and pre or may preferably maybe a little bit later, so they still have time to work on their current freight load, get it all processed, get that warehouse all nice and set up for the next truck. But if that truck shows up early, then that creates an issue. And yeah, starting to get long-winded about this, and that's something else I was thinking about too. Even on. I think it's just the day and age why that's an issue. I know my first grocery store uh, back in the late 80s. Back then, I mean, truck drivers would wait. They had no problems with it. You know, trailer shows up early. You know, you driver get out. Okay, man, I'm at, I'm at your back. Or I'm at your back, dog. It's like, well, we ain't ready for you. We're still working on the, we're, we're still making room for you. All right, man, I'll go back out to my truck. Just get me a holler when you're ready. You know, he'd go back out in his truck and probably sleep or something. And then when our back room is ready for him, we'd 
the old manager would pawn, would, would pawn on the side of the trailer. Driver! Driver! And the driver would get out of the trailer. All right, I'll be there in a second. You know, you woke him up. So, but now, now we have to drop everything and work on his problem. That's basically what it amounts to. Yeah. You ever get up? You ever get vendors that try to cut in line? Yeah, that's something that that's something else I don't think a whole lot of people may know about. Um, you know, vendors, drivers, people that you know, people that um, people that bring shipments to you or whatever. There's actually um, it's actually pretty competitive. Like there's a there's like an actual rivalry between them all, you know. They're trying to try to get to the dock first before the other guys so they can get their their freight unloaded and get out of there. Yeah, there's I've heard stories like that over the years, like uh just one guy to seven just about to pull up, you know, just starting to back in the dock, and some guy in a little U-Haul truck. <laughs> Cuts right in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, but I think there's that, um, there's that overachieving factor I think that that also applies to vendors too you know it just you know maybe if there was like a like some kind of order involved like you receive this guy first then this then this you know then this guy but no it's like uh, it's like they all try to sneak in on each other you know they try to they, they try to get there first you know, they try to get there early, that kind of thing. Oh, wow. Software design? Okay, I'll grab it. Okay, I got you. By all means. Yeah, these these grapes kind of suck. All right, I gotta. They say they're seedless, but yet nearly every one of them, I, nearly every one of them, I'm biting into. Yeah, they are. Oh, in 
back. Now that I'm here. Whoops. Passed it up. Oh, you got a table in mind? And then, um, I gotta, I gotta run and do something real quick. I'll be right back. doing this shit, are we? Okay. Yeah. I mean, Fungus Castle here got lucky. He managed to complete a mode or two, but otherwise, yeah, this, this table sucks for time modes. for a bug hunt. Screw around. Oh, not a good way to start. goes the combo. Yeah, there it went. Couldn't we put one of the remote sentry units in the tunnel and then seal that door? We repair the barricades at these two intersections. Lamp deck. Ah, oh, that's right. I have to hit that last. No. Oh. Catch the ball. Well played, 
steal over these ducks here and here and here. Sure wish I could hit that right ramp. Shoot. I know. I'm a loser. Oh, doom loop. Doom loop. Something wrong with the way it's shaped. Oh, but one and a oh, just barely got it. That didn't last long. Can I have the ball, please? Come on! Come on! Come and get it, baby! Come on! I'll get all day! Come on! Come on, you two! Oh, you want some of this? Yep. So much for that. That sucked. Yep, all that, and I didn't get any points at all for it, even for losing. Where's the ball? So, game over, man. Game over. Hey, yeah. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. I'd be lucky to get a 40 mil on this table.
One billion on one ball. And I'm also a little suspicious one off. The number one guy is also the guy that made the tournament. I think this is the dog and pony show right here. If I'm using the term correctly. This is what I call peak performance right here. 400 million. Yeah, that's... To me, that's a fluke right there. 1 billion? Yeah. Well, Steve's got a... Steve's got a record feature now, so... Sure would love to see it. that up. Dog and Pony Show. Okay. Yeah, a show you put up for uh, promotional reasons. It's a show you do basically for promotional reasons. Kind of like a press conference that you do for uh, damage control. Oh, right lane. Four point four billion. Biggins are slim. Uh, otherwise, 
is. I guess, uh, wait for a haunted tree bear to come back. Has anybody else got any uh, ideas for a table? Um, FX3? FX3 table, uh... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Probably World War... Probably World War Hulk. Probably be uh, we'll go with normal mode on this. Yeah, cause if you if you start a mode on this table, uh, you're gonna lose a lot of time with like assorted bullshit and stuff. Some of the modes on here aren't really conducive for a time mode. That was input lag. I knew I should have that. That kickback activated. I am the green scar. None of you can stop me. Surviving gladiators of Sakar banded together to form the warbound. Let's build this up. An arena? Right kickback. Punish a war journal song here. Zero one two nine. Alien hivelings aim to wipe out innocents. Pretty sure Banner wants none of this. Warbound swore loyalty to one another, helping each other to fight on. Bruce, you stuck your neck out for me from day one. Save me from a gamma bomb. Because, as you can see, you got ramps and loops galore all over the place, so you're almost always gonna hit something. Almost always there. My rage remains, as do my warbound. 
surviving gladiators of Sakaar banded together no. to form the Yeah, you don't want to make that shot, though. Sakaar's Red King made me a slave, then a gladiator. You remember, Hulk? When you were just a scientist, Lamp dick. experimenting on gamma radiation. Watch out! They destroyed my city. Now, I will destroy theirs. Fucked it up. It will not rest until I get my vengeance. Uni humans, I come to smash. And you should know who's to blame. The Warbound swore loyalty to one another, helping each other to fight on. Once a car, I could be cut, even killed. Well, now we're limp dicking and going straight down the middle, so. All saved. They killed my wife. No. My unborn child with her. We made our new headquarters in the stone ship itself. Ah, uh, don't move. That's some shitty shooting. I want to say that was input lag. I should have had that. It's Rick. Please be a hero. Seek justice, not revenge. Seek justice, not revenge. That was a ball lock. Okay. That mode, I don't mind. Multi ball. Car banded together to form the warbound. All locked. Car multi ball. Fantastic. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there goes one. Incredible. Awesome. Jurassic Park slingshots. I gotta somehow get the ball to the upper right flipper. Good luck. Lamp dick. I try. Incredible.
much for that. It up. I want to say that was input lag. I knew I should have had that shot. I shouldn't be too long. Yeah, I gotta use the bathroom. So yeah, but for those who don't know, um, the music is Tang, like like the breakfast drink Tang, um, big bright empty nothing. So it's just instrumental rock music. It's uh it's music I play whenever I get a table that has copyrighted music, since uh, I have it turned off. And uh, the silence kind of kind of drives me up a wall, so I like to have something going through the background. Anyway, but like I said, I shouldn't be too long.
Alright, so time for randos. And uh probably not gonna play this for very long. I'd say about a half hour maybe. straight down the middle afterwards I think there's yeah I think there's a reason why this table is such a low scoring table I think it might be that one too fuck it And yes, um, uh, modes and multi balls gonna have music. There isn't much time. But with the way I play, they don't last Three, very long. Two, one. All right. I'm just wasting score boost, so I'm just gonna have to normal. We'll see about that. Hey, careful. Now you stop. Yeah, I forgot that was one ball. on the tournament cabinet support oh okay so if you can only use this one time yeah I already done that table All right, back on it goes Choose your skill shot. DK421 reporting. Skill shot. Sand people are worse. Laugh, Dick. Choose your skill shot. 
Commence primary ignition. Well, go skill shot for Joe. Bonus multiplier increased. Bonus multiplier increased. Bye. So, he says there are several creatures approaching from the southeast. Get off. We will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Red 5, stand by. It's Red 5, I'm going in. Red 5, I'm going in. Get the crews to their fighters. Up to the gate and sip the sip. See the crews to the fighters. Come on in, I'll take the top back. Uh, oh, fuck. There's still more of them out there. There's still more of them out there. Well, I find the us and is the monkey ball. I love it when it ends as quickly as it begins. Choose your skill shot, fuzzball. I'm ready for anything. Bonus multiplier increased. Now, your we will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. We are approaching the planet Yaka. The rebel base is on the moon on the far side. We are preparing to orbit the planet. Jackpot. 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 Look at this. A droid on the scanner. Dead ahead. Might be our little R2 unit. Hit the accelerator. Hurry up. Super jackpot. Jackpot. R2-D2, where are you? At last, where have you been? Jackpot. No. Jackpot. Oh, 
so much for that. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Some warning on that would have been nice. Double flipper, bitch. Hurry up. Of course I'm not gonna get it. You know, sometimes I amaze even myself. It doesn't sound too hard. It up. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here. Red 5, standing by. Red 5, I'm going in. Have to destroy them ship to ship. Get the crews to their fighters. Double flipper, bitch. Too many of these, I may end up abandoning it. Going to Zachariah. I got a little cooked, but I'm okay. Idea what this is. It must be somewhere else. This is an unexpected incident. And the ball goes out anyway. Don't play games with me, your highness. The force is strong with this one. Beyond this one. Yeah. It feels like one ball or survival or something. Yeah, but. Kind of burnt. Sure as hell don't want to do this one again. actually accounted.
Oh, what do you know? I actually want it. Dazzling. Nope. I didn't even see where the third ball went, but I guess Joe don't get no jackpot. Yep, all that ball, lock it for nothing. That's it. She got lucky. Huh? Big fat trunk shot. How much we there? Missed the center loop. Like I said, missing the missing the center loop indeed. Ah, big fat trunk shot. There. Want to be a sardine, honey? Well, uh, somebody want to do the honors?
Whoops. I messed out on some points there. I'm actually trying to hit the right loop. much for that. Gotta love having a multi-ball that ends as quickly as it begins. Gonna miss. Told ya. Oh, I guess I ain't got no more score boost. So yeah, that's a mighty shitty shooting there, Joe. That's going to do it for me. So, yep. 1.4 billion. I think I've done better. Yeah. Be like a one ball or survival or something. Okay, one ball. Shoot into this hole or hit that ramp. Or miss that ramp. Wait a minute. I have superpowers. So, Combo. gotta avoid the center shot, and no sooner do I say that. Shots for 30 seconds. And the ball goes out anyway. Okay, so that's going to conclude the Apex 3 part of the stream. Um, going to go on yet another intermission. Probably going to make me something to eat. And then um, when I get back, it'll be Pinball Arcade. So... See, 
I, I'm not, in the, I'm not in the mood. Uh, I'm not in the mood to be picky. But uh, one thing I do need to do. So yeah, this is just um, it's just a tournament. Um, I think it's Street Fighter Champion Edition. But like I said, just not in the mood to spend all night looking for like a pinball video or something. So. Roller in. Charge it up some. Anyway, I'll be back.
Oh, in case one hasn't noticed, Champion Edition here, the most broken edition ever. If it matters, uh, caution. The guy playing Guile is pretty, pretty much, pretty much the champion edition master here. He's nearly undefeated. Let me do this. All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and start firing up Pinball Arcade. And then, um, again, the, uh, the stream philosophy these days is to try to play all three platforms. So, um, it's 11 p.m. right now, so I'm guessing, uh, probably an hour, hour and a half, maybe. Make it so. Make it so. Welcome to the Enterprise. This flashing targets. And I'm grabbing your life shit and then. Oh, wait, no, ball safe kicked in. Don't move. Alright, let's start that shit over. Welcome to the Enterprise. Center hole's kind of a mandatory shot there. Bonjour, mon capitaine. Q, what are you doing here? Let's play a little game. Q, we don't have Missed the flashing shots. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Make you on this one, Q. I guess not all of us can be omnipotent like you. Share our problems, buddy. Um, stormtrooper accuracy being one of them. Or multiple, please. Oh, there goes that. Sorry, bud. It's kind of meandered on in there. We're going back in time. 
Oh, guess I caught it. Damn! I'm lip dicking that shot a lot. It's like I'm having a. It's, it's like I'm having. I'm now having the easiest time hitting the right ramp, which is actually one of the harder shots. I counted. Steady as she goes. Readings indicate lock is lit, sir. Enterprise, the board has entered Federation space. Intercept immediately. That is the IGI. Course laid in, sir. What is out again? Engage. Engage. Oh, I actually got one. So, it, it used to be the left loop was like easy as hell for me to hit. The right ramp was a bitch to get. Now it's the flip side. To unplug it. So we're now going to have to deal with input lag. Just taking the points. Yeah, I, I suck at that battle simulation. Bound the hall. Suggestions. Oh, we can miss the center shot. Make it so. Gotta need to make the center hole, Joe. Let's put some hair around it or something. So, yeah. A measly five mil. Input lag. Lamp deck. The kickback is ready. Brilliant. I see many of the chairs have been collected. Oh, you almost double flipper bitch that, Joe. That's not gonna cut a dime, I'll screw it either way. Ball three. Whoa, you're not gonna eat that, are you? Don fishing, leave a message. It's got a meandered on in there. So this version um, is actually pretty great for uh, shooting for the boat. Not so much for the uh, 
ball didn't do what I wanted it to. Or let me rephrase that. Ball didn't do what it was supposed to do. This table. Well, I'm not supposed to do that. It was so big, I was missing my shots. Maybe, maybe. There's fish. I ever seen. Oh, <laughs> yes. And, um, like I often do on my other streams, I'll go ahead and say here. Kind of a PSA. Most of the tilts that you're going to see on here are intentional. I'm at a point where I I don't want to tell. I don't want to tear you around with the end of ball bonus tally fanfare and all that. Once the ball drains, I just want to get on to the next one. Especially on, um, especially when... Especially when the bonus tally takes longer than the actual ball itself. Like, if the ball goes literally from the plunger straight to the drain, let's just get it over with, get on to the next ball. So, and, um, kind of part and parcel of that as well. Once the very last ball is over, I don't wait around for the match screen or the match fanfare and all that. On to the next table. Easy extra ball. Oh! Just like that. Flipper gap is too wide. I'm thinking that's what it was. Not looking so good so far. Oh, hey, Neil. No. And hey, everybody that came on. Um. Well, I'll go. I'll go ahead since it's in my head right now. Um. I have to play wirelessly, so. 
I'm at the I'm at the mercy of Bluetooth. So I have to deal with input lag now, so I was playing uh wired, but not even I had just gotten this wire a month ago and already it's starting to jiggle inside the jack. So gotta buy a new one. And I think, um, since you, since you guys, I'm guessing you guys had just come on, um, I'll go ahead and say what I said a uh, minute or two ago. Most of the tilts that you see on here are intentional. So I'm just, I'm at a point where once the ball ends, I just want to get on to the next one. soon. I was ball three, so that was short-lived. And uh, that is something else, too. Once the last ball ends, I just bail out and go on to the next table. be a wife beater on this one. You'll know what I mean here in a moment. Well, there goes the kickback, so I'd probably have to complete the wizard mode for this. my measly score. Well, no, it didn't count. I guess there's a time limit on that. I don't know that. Input lag. I know I had that shot. So good. Ups, uh, lag. <sighs> Something lagged. I gotta, I gotta check my task manager real quick.
Windows audio device graph something. I guess that counted. A bit buggy there. And legit tournament strategy, I believe. Keep alternating the ramps. Get the ball in the hole for a million. Rinse and repeat. That's the one you want. Yeah, because Pinbot is at a uh, bank of drop targets at the lore, right? You don't want to actively aim for that because it'll end up uh, going in the uh, outlane over there. Yeah. It's going to be a long one that you can't get out of, so we'll get that over with. Ball three. That was ball three. And then that was on the case. Come back. Come quick. And then that was on the case. Jackpot. I looked up and saw Lady Jackpot with all her beauty. Ride the train. Yeah, and that is an especially bad, bad spot right here. It often causes a lot of avatar moments by up. If I can't get on the ramp and it hits its little baby bumper instead, straight down the middle. Input lag. I knew I had that. Hey, Answer Captain, the phone. Tell me more about Trixie. Trixie is always nosing around in my, my personal, personal affairs. Well, should be Trixie. There's. That actually counted. Mm. 
No, wait, that was ball three. I'm going through them like water. Uh, okay, I gotta explain something on this. I gotta skip this table. Uh, the table actually has copyrighted music. Now, normally, I just, um, I play my own music because I'd have to have the, the copyrighted music turned off and just, you know, have my own music going, like I said. Uh, problem with that table is when you turn the music off, you practically turn everything else off as well. Like all the sound effects and voice lines and stuff. Those get shut off as well, so, yeah. Don't lose your boots. I'm gonna have to give that table a miss. Luck be a lady tonight. So at the rate it's going right now, I may just go ahead and uh, abandon FX. Or FX3. I may just abandon this and go straight to Zachariah because I ain't doing shit on this one. Never seen this before. Here, let's just read. Let's just restart it. Get no ball lock. Let's play some blackjack. Ball lock. That was my fault. This one's protected. This machine is hot. All that's down. Cards are more fun. Green is my favorite color. Interesting bit of luck, though. Nope, guess it's red. Point is four. Yeah, 
There goes that. One while it lasted. Oh, that actually counted. That'll be a three or less. Oh, got lucky. Double or nothing, sir. You're in trouble. Sure wish I can get that center ramp. For taxes. Yeah, no ball save on this.
partner. Hurry up, partner. Yeah, I think if you spell diner, it all likes to lock, but lock is already lit. Hey, you can backhand that. Chili and a root bear. It's a little early on that. So, Balak. Um, the right spinner, splashing green, aim for that, or the hole in the far right. I prefer to aim for the spinner. Uh, multi-ball, aim for the same thing, the uh, spinner, or the uh, right hole. I guess it's gonna be the hole. Uh, and I believe you gotta relock. No, you don't. Same. Yeah, spinner. The spinner or the hole, same thing, so you just have to do it twice. Which didn't count because ball drained. Oftentimes, the, um... Uh, Multi-ball ends as quickly as it begins on this thing. There we go. Just get the ball over with. Let's get on to the next one. Get that out. I have come out. Extra ball that I probably won't get because I'm about to double flip or bitch it. No, I'm about that. Tilt warning. I gotta admit, this is one of the few times that I can actually hit that left ramp consistently, nothing I can do. The flipper gap is too wide. on this ball, so let's go on to the next one. Number one. 
So once again for the ball lock, aim for that uh, right spinner around that area, or the uh, right hole. Or if that works too. Uh, for multi ball, same thing. I uh, think you have to relock both balls. I really don't know because I don't. Most of the time, I don't even make it to multi ball. This table's off at a quick three and out. Uh, I heard that though. Oh! That's kind of a bug there. I mean, not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, but. Give me a jelly and rope here. Yeah, otherwise, I gotta sit through that whole thing. And I got something else I forgot. I keep forgetting to mention when I mention intentionally tilting and stuff. It's one of the reasons why I like FX3. They, uh, you can play on time modes on that, where it's a, for example, five minute mode. So for, from start to finish, there is none of that end of ball fanfare crap. Once the ball drains, pew, another one shoots up straight out of a plunger. So you ain't gotta fuck around with the whole thing. I kinda wish uh, Arcade would uh, have some time modes as well, but can't have everything. Oh, uh, yeah, that was input lag. I could have sworn I had that shot. All right, that was ball three. So, I, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to go ahead and skip pinball arcade. Not really able to do a whole lot. So, we just bail out of it, and we're going to go ahead and start um, start switching over to Zachariah Pinball. Um, your pinball skills don't matter as much on Zachariah, because a lot of the tables are basically pachinko machines with flippers. You'll know what I mean once I get it up and running and stuff. Yeah, like I said, it's going to take a while.
universe. Need a moment. For at least the first part of this, uh, for the first part of this session, the game is gonna freeze up from time to time. Why it does that, I don't know. Maybe it's because my computer's a piece of shit and I need to buy me a new one. Specials lit. I thought you could hit it from the left. Seems like you can. Oh. Oh, come on. I got two of them lit. I guess one, damn it, one upside on Zachariah. It is a game. It is a game setting that I have. Um, I mean, you could milkshake the fuck out of this table and it won't tilt. And then, and then for the most part, there is almost no end of ball fanfare BS. Some of the tables have it. Um, others, you have to... Uh, it's kind of a downside to not not having to worry about tilts. Some other tables, you got to sit through it. Can't skip the, can't skip the uh, end of ball crap. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You got to sit there and twiddle your thumbs until the whole thing plays through. So These older tables, you ain't got to worry about it. Of course, it also assumes you don't do something stupid like that. Just like that, so. Combat. Ah. Trying to hit that special. Oh, special for me. So, Zachariah has leaderboards. You know, I'm in the top 29%. And then, 
and then on the subject of uh, uh, having tilt turned off, it, it's not it in this in Zachariah that doesn't mean you're a cheater. As you can see here, I'm in arcade mode. There's simulation. There's arcade. There's also a custom, custom mode around here somewhere too. Oh, let me get the user. There's also a simulation mode. It is a bitch to play. It also, you have to worry about tilting the table as well. The table is practically at a 45 degree angle. I want to say that was input lag. Yeah. I just want to have that shot. Universe D Okay, now we got the bad stuff. You want a pachinko machine with flippers? You got it. No fear, people. Oh, also. Get ready for some bad voice acting, too. Sound mixing issues. Like parts of the t parts of some of these tables are fucking loud, and some are just quiet as hell.
I guess they're they're trying to play Asian music there. Waste of a multi ball. Gotta level one it then gotta level one and ends as quickly as it begins. that I lost count To me, hit the ramps too many times. A mode starts. And in Zachariah, when you start a mode, everything else is shut off. So, so you're pretty much hosed. So, yeah. Can't hit anything. There's no point in doing anything up here. That was actually a mercy killing. a bad one fire mountain and 
and that's that's also I keep something I keep forgetting to mention too. Um, this is this is actually a table that exists in real life. Zachariah, for those that don't know, uh, is a company in Italy. So it's an Italian company, so probably not a whole lot of people have heard of it. Um, when you hear the announcer guy call out what table is next, if you if you just hear him say the name of the table and that's it, then it's probably a real table. Um, if you hear him say retro, remake, or deluxe, those are fake tables. I don't want to say fake. Those are uh, virtual tables. They don't exist in real life. Like I said, some really bad sound mixing on some of these tables. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Yeah, I got nowhere near my previous high score, so let's just bail out of that. Postal Redux Retro. Retro. I mean, you got music, sound effects, and voices on here. I wouldn't really call this a retro table.
Oh, didn't even get close to my previous. Tropical remake. Tropical. Um. Another table where if you start a mode, you're fucked. Don't move. That shouldn't happen. Don't move. Shame. I mean, the ball shouldn't go on the very same uh, kickback that Don't it just move. got kicked out of. Lamp dick. Shame. Yeah, it is. Ball two, ball two. Hmm, shame. Spinner score. You should go for the move. <laughs> shame. Yeah, that's a bad ramp. Circus remake. That's what I'm thinking of. One million. Two million. Two million. Combo. Combo. Three million. Mystery lane is lit. There goes that. One million. One million. Mystery lane is lit. Last long. Combo. Combo. Double combo. Mystery lane is lit. Kickback is activated. 
One million. One million. Dark mode is lit. Which you definitely don't want. So, how do you um, how do you unlock your uh, ball save on this set? Apparently, apparently it ain't by uh, lighting up all the end and out lanes. God fucking damn it! Oh, at least I beat my previous score. <laughs> Clown. Okay, this is an actual table. Might possibly be my last table right here. Yeah. Wrong button, Joe. Black Belt Remake. Bad voice acting. Try not to suck, my student. A great reward is waiting. Great reward is waiting. Oh, karate is not just offense. You must defend. Oh, don't graduate. Ding, 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 ding. Art mode is lit. Shoot again is activated. Shoot again is activated. Super combo. Grant award. Super combo. You must try not to suck that you You must defend. For your training. Ah. 
Of course, it doesn't help that uh, the right the flippers are obscured by that extra shit on top of them. I mean, I could really do without these uh, little little pictures or toys or whatever obscuring the inlines. Master. And this one here is a homebrew table. There's a table editor on here. And this is one of those tables that was made using that. It's basically um it's basically the genie table. Double flipper, bitch. pace to beat my previous score. Sure would hate for something fucking bad to happen like that. Okay, so yeah, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here uh, before I pick up this controller and throw it across the room and start beating my head on the table. So, yeah. So, for all intents and purposes, this is basically a rage quit without me raging, if that makes any sense at all. So, plus, I still got other shit I got to do this morning. Um, got to jump to war session. I got to get taken care of and all that. So, um, as well as the post-production on the stream video. Uh, I think there's going to be a clip or two I need to get out of this, so 
I still have a fair amount of work I gotta do this morning. Still gonna be pretty busy. So. But yeah, basically I'm quitting while I'm ahead. But, but otherwise, hey, thanks for dropping in and hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be on again tonight. My default time is 9 p.m. And that is U.S. Central. Until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Hope you're under better circumstances.